The universe is everything, from the tiniest particles, to the largest galaxies, to the very existence of space, time and life. But have you ever wondered how did it all begin? The origin of the universe is the origin of everything. Multiple scientific theories plus creation myths from around the world try to explain its mysterious genesis. However, the most widely accepted explanation is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory states that the universe began as a hot and infinitely dense point. Only a few millimeters wide, it was similar to a supercharged black hole. About 13.7 billion years ago, this tiny singularity violently exploded. And from this explosion, matter, energy, space and time were created. What happened next were the two major stages of the universe's evolution called the radiation era and the matter era. And they are defined as the key events which helped in shaping the universe. First, which came was the radiation era. It is named so because of the dominance of radiation just after the Big Bang. This era is made up of small stages called epochs. These epochs occurred within the universe's first tens of thousands of years. The earliest is the Planck epoch. No matter existed in the universe at this time, but only energy and the superforce existed here. At the end of the stage, however, a key event occurred, in which the gravity split away from the superforce. Next came the Grand Unification Epoch, named for the three remaining unified forces of nature. This epoch ended when one of these forces, called strong or strong nuclear, broke away. Then the Inflationary Epoch began, during which the universe rapidly expanded. Almost instantly, it grew from the size of an atom to the size of a great fruit. The universe of that time was extremely hot and it was full of electrons, quarks and other particles. Then came the electroweak epoch, where the last two forces, electromagnetic and weak, finally split off. During the next stage, which was the quark epoch, all the universe's ingredients were present. However, the universe was still too hot and dense for some atomic particles to form. Then, in the Hadron Epoch, the universe cooled down enough for quarks to bind together and form protons and neutrons. And then, in the Lepton and the Nuclear Epoch, the radiation era's last two stages, the protons and the neutrons under one, a significant change diffused and created nuclei. And by doing so, the first chemical element in the universe was created, and it was helium. Next, after the radiation era comes the matter era, and we'll be talking about it in the next episode, which is the origin of universe episode 2, so stay tuned and subscribe our channel for more updates.